Okay, so this video, let's look at uh, the second example on angular velocity. So it says if a point is in motion on a circle through an angle of alpha radians in time t, then its angular velocity omega is given by the angular velocity omega is equal to alpha over t. Alright, so let's just draw a quick picture here, show you what angular velocity is. So if we have a point here on the circle and it's traveling around the circle, okay, there's an angle here. See when this go when this point is traveling around the circle, this angle here is changing. And we want to know how is that angle changing. And that's what angular velocity is. And it's and it's given in angular velocity is given given in radians per and then whatever time it is like radians per minute radians per second you know whatever all right so let's look at example two it says earth travels about the sun in an orbit that is almost circular assume the orbit is circular with a radius 93 million miles and one year about 360 is 365 days give the angular velocity in radians per hour. All right, so, well, let's go ahead and write our formula down. We know the angular velocity is alpha over t. All right, so I need to know, I need to, I need to know alpha and t. Well, if we, if we look at this, Let's just say the sun's right here in the middle and here's the earth going around it in a circular orbit. All right, so it makes one complete revolution in 365 days, okay? So alpha is equal to two pi. That's what we know. In 365 days, it goes 2 pi radians, or 360 degrees. Okay. Yes, you could say one year. That's fine, too. Okay. Well, if we look at it in days, then that tells us that 2 pi, it makes this angle in what amount of time? 365 days. Okay. All right. So the angular velocity is 2 pi over 365. Okay. And so 2 pi over 365, I'm not going to reduce it just yet or not I'm not going to get the decimal or anything. Now the 2 pi over 365, that's what that is radians per day. Okay, that's the angle, radians per day. Well, what do we want? We want it in radians per hour. Okay. All right. So we want to know the radians per hour. So what we have to do is we need to convert this. We've got 2 pi radians per day. Okay. All right. And what do we want? We want radians per hour. So we need hours down here in the denominator. And we need to cancel day out. So we'll put day up here. Okay. Well, what do we know the relationship between days and hours? Well, we know one day has what? 24 hours. See that? And so what does that do? That cancels days. And I'm left with radians per hour. So this is going to give me, so now I'll punch it all in my calculator, 2 pi 
divided by 365 divided by 24. And this is going to give me 0 0.00072 radians per hour. And that's the radians per hour. Okay. Now let me mention one thing. Sometimes these problems also ask you to find linear velocity. I'll do some linear velocity examples in other videos, but because there's there's a couple of there's a few different formulas for linear velocity, but the reason I bring it up here is because one of the formulas for linear velocity is the angular velocity times the radius. Okay, so I've got the angular velocity and I have the radius so I can actually find the linear velocity okay so the linear velocity would be the angular velocity times the radius which is 93 million and let's see when we punch that in our calculator we get about six six seven zero five and we'll just do point zero five okay and this okay this is sixty six thousand seven hundred and five what well our time is in hours okay times in hours the distance is in miles so this would be miles per hour. So that would be your linear velocity. All right, so I hope that video helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.